Welcome to the first in a new video series, the Mega 65 User's Guide. I'm going to open up version two of the User's Guide, and together we're going to go through it chapter by chapter. In this series, I'm going to cover the following topics from the User's Guide. When the series is complete, you will have a video compendium of all the information you need to begin using Omega 65. Let's get started with Chapter 1, Introduction. The original manual was included in the first batch of Mega 65s delivered in 2022. Since then, the Mega 65 has continued to receive core and even hardware upgrades. In 2024, in anticipation of the next Mega 65 batch release scheduled for the summer, the Mega 65 team released version two of the manual, which I'll be using for this video series. Even if you don't own a Mega 65, there are three ways you can get your own manual. First way is to download the PDF version. The second way is to visit Lulu and have them print, bind, and send you a copy, just like this one. And of course, the third way is to order a Mega 65 and you'll find one in the box when it arrives. Now, links to each of these options are in the video description below. And the user's guide is just one volume in an entire library of free Mega 65 PDF books available. That includes the Mega 65 user's guide, the volume I'll cover in this video series, the Mega 65 developer's guide with information to help you write programs for the Mega 65, the Mega 65 basic 65 reference, which includes all the basic 65 commands, functions, and operations documentation. There's also a Mega 65 chipset reference with information about all of the Mega 65's custom chips. Finally, there is a complete Mega 65 compendium that includes all those books in a single PDF. One of the things I like to do is upload that Mega 65 complete compendium to my Kindle Scribe so that I always have it on the go with all of my other technical books. For even more information, you can visit the Mega 65 Confluence Wiki. Once again, all the links you need are in the video description and on my own Mega 65 resource page at retrocombs.com slash Mega 65. Now, once you have your user's guide in hand, you can also contribute using the Mega 65 user's guide issue tracker. That link is down below. If you find an error, go to the tracker, make the submission, and maybe that correction will show up in version three of the user's guide. It's a great way to contribute to the community to make sure that the user's guide is the best that it can possibly be. Let's dig into chapter one and congratulations on your purchase of the Mega 65. That seems like an appropriate opening for a welcome, right? And that's how chapter one of the user's guide begins. But let's dig a little bit deeper into the Mega 65's history. Remember the Commodore 64? Of course you do. The iconic 80s computer that launched countless gaming and coding adventures. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. Imagine if its planned successor, the 1990s Commodore 65, had actually been released. That project may have been shelved, but thanks to a dedicated team of retro enthusiasts, that dream is now a reality in a computer we call, of course, the Mega 65. Together with the Mega 65 development team, I created an introduction to the Mega 65 video. Go watch that video now by using the YouTube card above. Don't worry, I'll be here when you get back. I'll wait. Go ahead, go watch it. Six and a half hours later. That's a great intro video, right? Glad you liked it. And I had a blast putting it together. And it goes into more detail on why the Mega 65 exists and why it's available to the community. As you learned in the video, the Mega 65 is a living, breathing project. It's constantly evolving with community-driven updates that expand its capabilities. You know, whether you pine for a Commodore 64 or 128 successor, you miss the 8-bit error and want to see what the fuss is about, or you're a tech enthusiast excited about what you can do with an FPGA, the Mega 65 is for you. And because the Mega 65 is under active development with a very thriving community, I have a feeling the newer chapters in the Mega 65 user's guide are yet to be written. Now to get the most out of your Mega 65, you really need to join that aforementioned community. I can tell you firsthand, the Mega 65 community is fun, informative, and a supportive group, and you can find them in two primary locations. One is at the Mega 65 Discord, the other is on the Mega 65 forum. 
Again, both of those links are down in the video description below and on my Mega 65 resource page. Whichever way you choose to interact with the community, you'll find the latest information, tips, tricks, and the support you need to create your own programs. I hope this video piques your interest in the Mega 65 and you'll choose to follow me along this exciting journey through the Mega 65 User's Guide. I'll post the next chapter soon. In the meantime, hit that like, subscribe, and alert so you don't miss the next chapter. If you found value in the video or you think you're going to find value in those coming your way, hit that thanks button and let me know you value the series. Hey, want to ask questions and make suggestions and get additional insights? Visit my Buy Me A Coffee page so you can learn how to join my Discord. I've created a separate channel for this series so the conversation can continue. And the only way you can join this conversation is to support the channel now. That's the way to get you to buy me a coffee, right? Don't worry though, you can get access to the Discord by joining at the Commodore VIC-20 level for only $2 a month. Of course, I have other Commodore-inspired levels with additional perks, so be sure to check those out too. See you next time, and before you leave, check out these other great Mega 65 videos. Retro Combs out, see you at the next chapter.